I don't know if I even said anything. I went into the cafeteria here, or like the little food room, and I took the entire pack, and I left. I literally took the whole thing. In front of me right now is, without a doubt, one of the biggest artists in the world right now, Billie Eilish. Welcome back to the show. Thank you. The fans wanted it. Here we yeah, are giving it, it to them. I wanted it too. I had a good time last time. Thanks so much. It's weird because the, the, um, when, as soon as you landed in the UK, your fans were DMing me going, please say you're going to see Billy," And I'm like, well, there could be another interview coming. Yeah, it's weird. I feel like I've been through a weird journey with your fans because the first oh, interview, know. we've talked about this before. Yes. First interview, they think they were keen. Second one, they're like, eh, he's not a bad guy. And now I feel like, what can I prove this time? I don't know. I don't want to ruin it. Let's just keep the good vibes going, I feel. <laughs> You're getting trolled by the fans. I am getting trolled by the fans. I, I think, know. I know what it's like. When the second interview, when you said you liked me, I think they were like, we'll back off. Yeah. All right, let's talk about the Brit Awards. Let's, let's get the, the insight from your view. Where were you sat? What was your view? Who was your favorite thing? The person, mm. performer? Give me the whole thing. Well, so here's the thing. When you will perform at award shows, they make you show up like 12 hours early. Right. <laughs> like for real. So we were there, obviously not 12 hours. It was like what? We were there like 11 or something a.m. You got to do a whole dress rehearsal, all, you know, dressed up and stuff. And then you sit there for like hours. Then you do the red carpet. Then you sit there for hours. Yeah. This was the thing. It was, it was honestly though, besides everything, like one of the most fun award shows I've been to. It really? was really, really fun. It was like just like good vibes. I just felt good energy the whole time. Is it different to uh, Amer American award shows? I imagine they're quite serious. Um, I guess so, yeah. I didn't even think of that, but I guess I guess that is what it was. It was kind of more like laughs. Yeah. It was like it was like less like screaming at everyone to get in line like Right. You know what I mean? Okay. It was really fun like the red carpet was easy. The the like photographers were nice. They're normally actually pretty nice to be honest with you, but um no, it was good. It was like Everybody was nice. It was good. Good. I was actually kicked off the red carpet because you were coming. They were like, yeah. right, you're, you're done now. Billy's here. And oh I was like, oh, God. yeah, Dude, yeah. no, this is such a problem because, <laughs> because sometimes I see like like people I know or like friends of mine or like artists I like and my screen is like, move, move. <laughs> yeah. It's so embarrassing. I didn't want to fight it because they were so scary. Bad. They were very scary people. I feel bad every time it happens. That's like, fine. It was worth it. What I want to know about what you ate because obviously, you know, gluten free. What I ate. Vegan. What do they well, provide the for you? The thing was, I was backstage like pretty much the whole time. I only oh, okay. sat down right after my performance. Right. And that was like an hour, like, it was like two hours into the show, an hour and a half. An hour. Okay, it was an hour. <laughs> Ooh, Love it when mom gets deal. involved. <laughs> Sheesh. Uh, did you go to any after parties? Or were you like, I oh, know I've got to work uh, tomorrow. So I'm I gonna normally go back. have to go to like one so that people saw that I was there. But yeah. I was trying to leave. Right. <laughs> I I um some of them are so fun though. Like I um there was one I mean my my team threw me one after the Grammys which was like so much fun. I can imagine that. But was also cool. I was just like on a high I've never been on. That was crazy. So last night it was more just like the Brits themselves were the party to yeah, me like yeah. it was it was really fun. We were like partying backstage. Um, I was with Niall Horan yesterday. Have you met Niall Horan before? I met him yesterday. Oh, you met him yesterday as well? I did okay. meet him yesterday. Because I, I said to him, he threw this ridiculous boat party, him and Lewis Capaldi. It was nuts. And I was like, guys, don't get me another drink. I've got to be with Billie Eilish tomorrow. I've got to be in good oh, form. Oh, so that's why you are... Right, exactly. <laughs> uh, so they were like, yeah, have more, have more. They, they basically wanted to ruin this interview for me. Uh, but <laughs> Niall wanted me to, to say hi to you. He just wanted to... I didn't know that you'd seen him, but he wanted to... He texted me just now as well saying, please remember to say hi to Billy. That's so sweet. So hi I don't know if there was a joke there, but he wanted me to say nope. hi. That's just All him right. being nice. Just him being nice. Just being a dude. Um, speaking of nice messages, that one that Justin Bieber put out um, oh. was really, really nice. I was on the phone with him and he was like, you're going to laugh at this. I uh, I did an interview like a couple of weeks ago and I started talking about you and uh, I cried. <laughs> and oh. I, was, I was like, there's literally no way that actually happened. He was like, swear to God, it happened. I completely didn't believe him. I was like, this is not true. And yeah. As soon as it came out, I watched it and I just, my mom and I just like sobbed. Did you? Just, my dad even teared up. My dad does not tear up. That dude is a stone. <laughs> but um, yeah, it was really sweet of him. It I was, mean, dude, yeah, think nice. about what that man has gone through. It's yep. really insane. Yep. Ugh. Poor boy. It's cool that he put that out there like that. I know. Yeah, it's really nice. Um, let's talk about No Time to Die. Because seeing that live, I, do you know what? I said this to a few people. I was looking around the room when you were performing it. It felt like a really special moment. And I know that sounds like... <laughs> no, honestly, everyone was in awe about what they were seeing. The whole room fell silent. 
Everyone was engaged. Everyone was like really listening. What a moment to perform with Hans Zimmer, who I don't think does performances like that really. Yeah, I don't think he really does a lot. He doesn't at all. How did that come about? Did you have to convince him or was he sold instantly on doing this performance? Um, I think it was... I think it was actually more my team's idea to have like Johnny and Hans yeah. come and do the show. Okay. Um, and I was like, hell yeah, if they're down. Um, it was it was so fun. And also, honestly, it made me feel like, because those are such high pressure, those type of performances and having people that like I know and, you know, like up on stage with me made, me made me feel really good. That's what's amazing about working with my brother and performing with him is that I'm always up there with him. Right. And it was nice Support. to have like a couple more people just like there that I know that I like feel safe around. And it was really amazing. It was honestly like, I mean, I said it in my speech. I just like, I looked at the, I was not expecting all those fans in the front to just like, gleam it made me really emotional could you see there. that you could see yeah, it in their faces. as soon as they lifted the curtain all the fans were like uh. <laughs> and they ran up and it it really like it made my heart sore because uh lately it's just been like weird and cold but um yeah it's been it was it was amazing it was really fun and were you happy with the performance because was it, I was, the, so was it the grammys the one you said you weren't the, happy about the grammys one was okay what i do what what is that that was an no, insane performance of the grammys you. listen the what grammys are it? amazing the oscars are amazing brits are amazing it's all just me being self deprecating yeah, yeah yeah it's just me thinking i'm not good enough for certain things and it's it's not me like oh poor me i'm so bad it's literally like i just have high standards for what i think is good in myself and like i think that's good because it means that i'm you know not gonna just settle for everything that's you know I, I work harder because i yeah. feel like i should and i feel like i want to for myself it's not that i wasn't good up oh they didn't like me who cares i didn't like it but oscars were incredible grams were incredible brits were incredible i felt great about my performance i really good. i barely ever feel great about like live perf like tv show performances yeah. that i do and that one i was like afterwards i was like yeah, and will you I, be able to watch it back? Yeah, I watched it. It was great. Oh, okay, I you was have very already. happy with Amazing. it. And also, that's the first time I've ever performed it, ever. I know, I know. That and was that a moment. belt, though. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was sick. It was sick. Like I said, it was a real moment to be there. And look, the glasses have gone on. Look at that. Um, oh, went to number one last week on the official Big Top 40. Know. So, you know, so cool. smashing it. Absolutely so cool. smashing it. What a month you've had. Grammys, Brits, Oscars. And last <laughs> Sunday, the Bond theme, No Time to Die, went to number one on the UK's biggest chart show two days after it was released. And you've done it again. So congratulations to you for another yeah. week at number one. <laughs> did, did you like chase number ones or you're not bothered? I don't, I don't even think about it. Yeah. It's like, I wish I did, but I don't. But the fact that you are number one is pretty it's cool. It's so cool. Yeah, great, and Especially good. here, you know? Like, come on. So cool. Yeah, and with a Bond theme as well. Yeah. Which is awesome. So cool. Have you seen the film? The whole thing? Is it incredible? It's so good. Ah! But I only but saw, like, such a fan. I saw like, a, like a rough cut. Okay, but so there's still the more to do. But it was the whole thing. It was just like halfway done. And you've seen it with your song in it as well, the end. No, uh, no, the start. no, no it was before okay. we got it. Right, it was, okay. We went to London to watch it so that I could have more uh, information about it. Right, sure. Research. Mm -hmm. um, well, because you're number one, here's a trophy. <laughs> Whoa! Which you can put right next to your others. I'm, this will go on the, the water cabinet, right? Oh, yeah. Don't give me For a fake promise. Sure. Don't listen to me like in the bathroom. I want this up in your lounge, okay? <laughs> cool. Lounge. What do you call it in America? I don't even know. Front room? I don't even know. Can we hand it? It's quite heavy. Is it? Don't make it your door stop. This could kill somebody. Yeah. Well, I don't recommend that either. <laughs> <laughs> um, can you introduce Two. your number one song, please? This is No Time to Die on Big Top 40. Lovely. You remember when I was yelling at all you because you didn't have microwaves? Yeah. <laughs> or tomatoes ketchup. or whatever? To ketchup. ketchup. You know what? I had good ketchup the other day, but it's still very sweet. Like, why is it so sweet? Yeah, you have ketchup. But it's too sweet. Right. Well, it's still ketchup. And the microwaves in the hotel? What the hell? It's like aliens. <laughs> yeah, but those are not microwaves. Those are like aliens, for real. <laughs> See, my mom agrees with me. I'm not making this up. Yeah, it's sweet. This is what I'm saying. I'm bring you salsa too. next time. Okay, please. Please do. The ketchup is sweet, the salsa is sweet. But I remember last time I was here, I found this bread. It was delicious. Is it the bread you're eating when you're here? 
Yeah, it was. <laughs> but that bread has been my favorite bread since. The gluten-free. The gluten-free. It's so good, dude. I remember that, that and remember I went, I don't know if I even said anything. I went into the cafeteria here or like the little food room and I took the entire pack and I left. I literally took the whole thing. Officially, the UK's biggest chart show. The official Big Top 40.